Heart rate training. Um, this used to be a really big. Um, I used to do a ton of heart rate training. Heart rate is tough if you are not a really been doing it for a long time. So what I'd actually recommend, there's different zones for heart rate training. I would recommend anyone who's thinking about going this route to just train by pace for like maybe a year and then observe their heart rate. One of the big things everyone likes to do to base their, their when, you, when you do heart rate training, it's based off of heart rate max. So you, set, you have the heart, max heart rate and you build these zones off of it. The trouble is everyone knows that, that calculation, probably most of you know 220 minus your age is your max heart rate. Um, there was a study done many moons ago that found that was about 50% accurate. So that in heart rate is, is very variable between one person to the next. It's trainable, so it adjusts. Like you can move your max heart rate up if you're starting from scratch. So I'm not, I'm not super big on heart rate anymore um, because it's so variable and it's tough to monitor. Um, and also there's something called cardiac drift. So you try to stay in a zone. And if you start to try to stay in that zone the entire run, what ends up happening is you have to slow down because naturally your heart rate increases over time with just the same effort. I really encourage anyone who wants to be really into, the, into more of an objective way of training is to maybe look at power. There's a, a company called Stride that I used for a while and they have a power meter for running which was very useful and a great way to look at things as well. But for what we're mostly doing, a lot of you guys can, and most runners can get better with just good structure, good habits, knowing when to stop. I always tell runners like, you'll be fast by just not getting hurt because you're just running from one injury to the next and having these wide gaps in your training. So you want to avoid those wide gaps is the big thing. So from, from a heart rate standpoint, just be careful. The 220 minus your age doesn't work. There's actually a max heart rate test, which is like five hill sprints as hard as you can. And, taking the, the max heart rate out of all five of those sprints. Um, but uh, yeah, be careful. Um, you have to set your zones up properly, but the zones don't matter if you don't have your max, your right max heart rate. And if you're doing it off 220 minus your age, you're probably missing the mark quite a bit. So be careful with that.